The two species of deer in North Dakota are white-tailed deer and mule deer, and it's pretty obvious how they got their names. The white-tail got its name from because it has a big white tail. Um, the mule deer uh, got its name uh, because it has big ears like a mule. Mule deer largely inhabit western North Dakota, but can also be found in small pockets in the eastern part of the state. White-tailed deer can be found most anywhere. White-tail, you know, they, they primarily evolved in, in uh, a, more of a wooded forested setting, whereas, you know, mule deer are predominantly in more open, arid uh, country and rugged uh, terrain. The antlers also differ between these two deer species. The antlers of a mule deer are, are bifurcated or they, they divide and then divide again. Whereas the antlers on a whitetail, the main beam comes up, goes out and curls forward. While whitetails have a big white tail, the mule deer's tail is quite a bit different. Tail of a mule deer, it's not as heavily uh, furred or tends to be kind of ropey with a black tip, but they have a, a, large, a big white butt. Uh, that's their, their primary uh, signaling uh, message. Jensen says you can identify these deer species by their differing gaits when they sense danger. Mule deer ha has sort of a distinctive uh, uh, gait. When uh, alarmed, it, it bounces across the, the landscape. It's called uh, stotting, whereas uh, whitetail just tend to have an all-out bolt run. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.